bitch. Motherfucker liar. Stupid bitch. Yeah, I got a mouth. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do with it? Input sexual innuendo right here. <laughs> Hooray, hurrah! Welcome to my other mother blog. <laughs> I love doing that now, it rhymes. Hello my fellow fans, subscribers, stalkers, friends, and family. How's everybody doing? I decided to do a little more of a sunset mother blog. Ain't no pretty. I still have my mirror shield on, so I can't really write out that much, but yeah. I had to get it in before sundown. Oh, it already is sundown. Duh. But at least before it gets too dark. So I decided to pull another motor vlog out. Decided to pull out of my AF. Whee! Notice I'm wearing leggings. <laughs> totally riding gear there. Totally protective. Everything else is protective but my legs. Uh, so what I decided to motor vlog about, because uh, Street Rookies asked me this question, asked me to talk about it. Uh, how many, <laughs> have I ever dropped my bike? That's the topic. Now, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny stories behind them, but... Yeah. Uh, never dropped my first bike. I treat, he didn't, you know, I was very proud of that. Now, when I got this bike, back in June of this year, I was extremely worried about dropping it this time because now it's brand spanking new. Never been ridden on. So I decided to, um, they, they tell me, oh, you can't go over far, uh, 4K RPMs and uh, be careful with it. Don't rev up the engine too much. And so, oh, I wonder where this goes to. I've never been this way before. I'm going on an adventure to, you know, stop. Arr! Over the crosswalk. Yeah, I'm a dick. Because there's bushes in the way. For my safety reasons, I have to know this. Why well, don't you have a nice car? I was totally uncomfortable with this bike. It's heavy on top. I was not used to it. And I told Terry, I was like, oh, no, no. We need to ride a, we need to ride a little bit more. Let me get used to this bike. Like, stop going because the brakes are really, you know, it's a brand new bike, so I'm not used to the brakes, I'm not used to the acceleration, I'm going from 250 to 650. I was scared. So I, you know, I go to ride the bike on the street. I, I did well, I tended my lefts really well, you know, left street. I was a little worried because I couldn't touch the ground and some of the areas could not on both sides. I was fucking shit. I was like, fuck. I was like, fuck this shit, dude, it's so scary. <laughs> I was like, did I even buy the right bike? Because I did my research on it, but I didn't realize how tall it was until I actually started riding it. <laughs> I go to ride it after the left turn. I go to turn right. You know, I'm looking for cars. You know, to full complete stop. Terry's guiding me, and he goes. But for some reason, I stalled. And guess what happened? Why I stalled? I pressed the brakes. I pressed this little brake here. About the right round. Duh. Of course, it's the right brake. So I pressed the right brake, and I slammed it hard. First mistake there. Doosh. <laughs> um, fell on me. Yeah, I got gnarly bruises after that one. So the bike drops, like that, on me, this side, bugs, this side, and fucked up, my, my legs were all bruised up, this leg's all bruised up, because I just, went, you know, and I had, I had another rider, another cruiser come by to help me out, you know, Mario goes to help me out, Chuck goes to help me out, it's Terry, he's like, he's like, he feels so bad because he's, he never, you know, he doesn't like people, you know, he's the road captain. So he was like, oh shit, one of my riders fell. Uh, you know, the bike fell, fell on her, that is. And he felt terrible. And, you know, and I, and let me tell you, it was less, it was not even a half a mile I dropped that bike from the dealership. So fucking embarrassed. I began that statistic. Ugh. And so I, <laughs> I, you know, I called the dealer slip. The guy was pretty nice, the mechanic. You know, I'm very frustrated on the phone. Yeah, and what happened was, stop there. I broke this thing off. This thing here, like this whole thing was bleh, scratches here. There's a scratch right there. Now, the second time that happened, this happened three days ago. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Um, I was washing my bike. 
and you know I'm drying it, washing it, and we're we're, we're putting um uh, the little, the lube on the tire tire on the 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 we're putting the the lubricant on the chains, you know, and you know that you know to make you know change all nice and good to go, and so Mario goes to say. You know, just put it in the first gear and just, you know, move it up. Because usually we just, you know, don't turn the bikes. We just put it in neutral and just kind of slowly move and he sprays. Um, but I was like, okay, let's put it in neutral. My seat's not on, by the way. I mean, I put my seat off because it's a dry. But, you know, I can handle I can sit on two feet. Yeah, that didn't go well. I don't know what the fuck happened. I, I went to go lift it up and all of a sudden it was like, it was like, oh, I'm not going to see. I'm not going to do it because my foot's fucked up at this moment. But, um, no, I go to uh, do it. And, uh, <laughs> so for some reason it was like, there was no turning back kind of till like it was too heavy and I don't have the best upper body strength. And when it fell, I remember, uh, going really slow. I remember I was holding on to dear life. I'm sore from it since then, but I remember I was holding on for a dear life and I'm like, Mario, help me. <laughs> it's falling. It's falling. And he's like, oh shit. I was like, I was like, fell, fall on me on the same side again. And now I have bruises again. I lifted it up and I look at everything and look at the side of like, woohoo! Nothing broke off. Everything works. Yes! Success! Whoop, whoop. You know, I was like, hell yeah. Um, anyways, that's my two stories about how I dropped my bike twice. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. You know, you can share your whole bike stories if you want with me. I does, if you want to make me feel better, that's fine. I mean, that's cool, but I got over it. <laughs> You know, she puts me in my place. I cannot tell her what, I, I like, I'm controlling my bike. I tell her who's boss, but there's moments where she just fucking flips a switch and she's like, you know what? I'm tired of your shit. And she goes, Psh. I mean, it's like a reply to Street Rookie's time when he dropped his bike and how he got his name. But this is, and I told him, I was like, well, don't feel bad. You know, I dropped my bike as soon as I got mine too. <laughs> Let me know what you want me to answer next. I don't mind if you ask me any kind of questions. I mean, you want to know more about me? I'll answer. Bah. Simple as that. This concludes my video. Miss Kara out. See you on the next ride. Peace out, bitches. Probably should lock that. Weirdos at night. The freaks come out 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 at night.